Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining the problem of starters 46, uh, code chef problem name prime XOR. And this problem, you're gonna be given like, uh, you're gonna be given X and Y, but the problem basically is that uh, there are, assume, there, assume that there are three distinct prime integers A, B, and C, and uh, three positive numbers x y and z are also displayed and we've got three equations here x equal to a xor b y equal to b xor c and z equal to c xor a you are given x and y and also very importantly at least one of the three integers x y and z is odd you're gonna have to find out the value of the three distinct prime integers which are eventually one uh, like a b and c but that's exactly what what's the like statement is uh, problem is really cool uh, the solution actually is pretty cool the problem solution is like re really interesting and intriguing observational uh, problem so uh, yeah so let's jump on to the solution now first of all we need to know what is an XOR operations if you don't know let me remind you when we do XOR of 1 and 1 it gives 0 if we do XOR of 0 and 1 it gives 1 1 0 XOR if we do that it gives 1 and also another thing that we need to understand is is that no matter how many prime numbers are there there are only one even prime numbers out of all the prime numbers out there which is two two is the only even prime number and it's gonna really really help us to find out the observation in this problem remember two is an even and an only even prime number the only even prime number two is gonna help us a lot to solve this problem and uh, yeah so yeah that's pretty much it I guess so we are given X and Y understand we are given X and Y initially now as you can see Z is not given but there's a way that we can find out Z how is that we can use these three equations and find out Z how is that possible now if you just take a look at it what is X actually here X is actually a absorb oh yeah before that also one th yeah okay that's actually wrap wrapped it up uh, okay so as you can see X is equal to they've also stated that yes we have taken X and Y but we also know that X is as given a XOR B as I can see here a XOR B and Y is actually B XOR C B XOR C now just observe this these two equations can we do some operation and can we actually make and try to find out Z yes we can if we let's say this is equation number one this is equation number two if we XOR these two equations what we get is X XOR X XOR Y equal to a XOR B XOR B XOR C so as you can see if you XOR this part with this part B gets repeatedly even number of times which is two times and we already have told you one thing that two same number if we do an even operation it's gonna output zero so ultimately the whole XOR of these part is eventually gonna give us nothing but a XOR C but but what is the a XOR C as you can see the statement clearly said that a XOR C or C XOR A both are same 
so they're equal to z so we found out z which is nothing but x xor y so in order to find z what you can do just xor x with y the values that we have taken just xor them and the value that you're gonna get is z now we have x y and z now our main task would be to find out a b and c they have already told us that a b and c are gonna be three distinct prime numbers and also one very important observation here is that x and y and z the numbers that we have already found out yet uh, just recently we found out they will consist at least one of them will consist an odd number so x y and z would actually consist odd number at least one of them so let's imagine for the sake of argument for the sake of simplicity let's just imagine that x is the number which is odd somehow for some reason x is the number which is odd let's imagine some number some big number let's say some sort of bits are here let's say one zero zero let's imagine that x is some number but it's odd as it's odd we know every odd numbers first bit is always one so there you go okay let's take a new page and explain it or uh, articulate it more perfectly okay as we were talking about let's imagine x is odd and if it's odd be it any sort of digit but the last digit or should i say if i tra traverse from the back the first bit is always one because x is we're assuming that x is odd now what was x actually x was a xor b now what was a and b a and b were distinct two prime numbers so it implies that somehow we've actually managed to do the xor operations of two prime numbers and get one out of it at the first bit meaning two xor two prime numbers xor is giving me an odd number when is that actually possible this is only possible if one of the prime number if one of the prime number is odd and the other prime number is even only that is that is the only way that it's possible now we also know that we have got only one even number which is nothing but two so we've got only one even number which is nothing but two that guarantees that there will always be an answer of two as you can see they have already told us the x y and z would contain contain at least odd numbers so let's um we imagine that x is odd if x is odd then i can guarantee that out of a and b at least one of them is two because we know that in order to get an odd number as an xor of course you're gonna definitely you're gonna have to xor an even an odd number and as for example here a and b are both prime and one of them have to be even prime and we know that there's only one even prime available and that is nothing but two so one of the answer is two so as we've already found out the one of the answers of a b and c would be two easily we can find out the other prime numbers how is that just take a look at this a xor b right now let's imagine that b is two as we have found out here always there is going to be a one two uh, one number two which is a even prime now just xor it with two that's it xor it with two we know this x we know this two we know this b Th this two is actually like b right as we have uh, imagined so b is equal to 2 so b xor x equal to a xor b xor b we have xored on both sides so this b is nothing but 2 so this 2 gets cancelled out with this 2 what we left is a so a remains x xor 2 similarly we're gonna similar fashion we're gonna find out why we're gonna find uh, we're gonna find out c we, we can easily find out c uh, just uh, just like that we just um, 
did with the XOR operations on both sides. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. That's how we're gonna like solve the problem. But also, you need to consider that they have also told us one thing: uh, output the numbers in ascending order, and also they've told us that there will always be a unique answer exist. So, this uh, this statement actually matters matters here because there could be more than one numbers out of x y and z that are odd number and for those odd numbers we could get some a b and c which are not which could not be prime numbers so let, let's say x and y x out of x y and z x and y are odd numbers so out of these x and y of odd numbers possibility uh, one of them will give me the correct answer so there could be multiple values of a b c that's exact uh, that's uh, we have to actually ex uh, like the we're gonna have to analysis for every odd numbers case so we're gonna imagine that if x is odd then do the uh, then try to find out some possibilities of a b c if y is odd try to find out possibilities of a b c if z is odd try to find out possibilities of a b c and out of those three a b c's just uh, just try to uh, figure out which of these three ABCs are actually fulfilling the constraint and the answer meaning which of these ABC uh, these three numbers are actually prime numbers and distinct prime numbers then that's gonna be the answer so if I take you to the code section you will understand it more uh, down here and yeah that's the part here down here that's the part okay we're taking X and Y we're trying to find out Z as I've already explained that and yeah that's the possibilities I've told you if I'm gonna compare if X is odd if Y is odd or if Z is odd so for these three cases individually independently I'm gonna try to figure out what what could be my ABC what could be my ABC here what could be my ABC here what could be my ABC here So uh, yeah, so if X is odd for this, I'm, tra I'm tracking out its own ABC, whether it actually fulfills the condition ABC, just assign it, assign it. And already as, as they've told us that there will always be a unique answer. So if this is the perfect answer, then this won't be, these two won't be the perfect answer. If this is the perfect answer, then these two won't be the perfect answer so there will always be a unique answer they've already told us so that's why I just took out all the cases and tried to make it happen and uh, yeah that's exactly how we actually sort it and solve the problem uh, I actually solved the problem yeah so I hope you understood the problem and uh, yeah till next time goodbye